it's under a winter storm warning, but you're right, that blizzard warning has gone all the way on up the coast now. The reason is because the winds are so strong along the coast. Now, to create blizzard conditions, you need the visibility to be at or under a quarter of a mile for at least three hours in a row, frequent gusts of 35 miles per hour at least three hours in a row, with falling, blowing, or drifting snow. Now, we certainly have blizzard conditions currently going on in parts of the coastline, but any one place has to have that sustained for three straight hours to eventually be qualified as a blizzard. But the point is, the conditions are miserable, and visibility is terrible everywhere. Notice it's just about nothing in Lawrence and Hartford. Remember that one very strong band right in there? but it's also zero in Plymouth now. And anytime you see a quarter mile, that's usually heavy snow. Anything under than that is intense snow. And the visibility is a half mile and moderate snow in Boston. But all across the region, it is very poor. It's become very widespread. And look at the wind gusts. Boston 35, but Plymouth 45, 41 on Nantucket. Those are just the current gusts. Now we're getting snowfall reports in. You know that there was an amazing band of snow over west central Massachusetts, and that has really pumped up the amounts in those local areas. Ludlow is almost a foot and a half of snow. Springfield's over a foot, but we weren't getting those bands initially in eastern Mass, so the amounts have been much more modest. Four and a half in Millis, four in Natick, three in Attleboro, and two and a half in Boston. However, now those heavy bands are coalescing here in eastern Massachusetts. However, here's the difference. You see that very heavy band that's now moved into Worcester County from Springfield? When it was out in the Springfield area, it just stayed there for hours. But now it's on the move. So it won't be quite as long a period of time that we get the crazy snow compared to what they had out there. Nonetheless, the next several hours, very rough conditions here between the heavy snow, the poor visibility, the blowing, and the drifting. I also want to point out the rain snow line is just in the process of going across Nantucket. It has cleared all of Cape Cod, and they are in very, very heavy snow, as well as Plymouth County, as you can see there. Mike is going to take a closer look at these in just a couple of moments, but I just wanted to point out lightning, many, many reports of thunder snow. So let's take you hour by hour through the storm. You can see from Worcester eastward, we're dealing with heavy snow and incredibly heavy snow from Plymouth down to the Cape. So even though you rained the first part of the storm in the Cape, now you're getting blitzed with very, very heavy snow and very powerful winds. The west to east motion will be gradual. So here we are at 3 o'clock, Boston, I-95, very, very heavy snow in all points east and still pretty heavy out to Worcester and still accumulating beyond. Now we jump to 4 o'clock. We still have the very heavy snow, North Shore, Boston, South Shore, Cape Cod, and still snowing hard to the west. Notice there is an eastward progression, but keep this in mind. Any of these bands can produce the very heaviest 2 to 4 inches per hour with the near whiteout conditions, and that's what we have from now until 5 o'clock at least in Boston. And it's going to snow longer than that. It will slowly start to abate, but even 6 o'clock, Still heavy snow in Boston, moderate snow out through Metro West. Finally, we get to about 7 o'clock, and now we're seeing around Route 128 westward, a diminishment. And then after 8 o'clock, it diminishes in Boston, but takes a little longer down on the Cape. So that's the process. It'll clear everybody later on tonight. So even though it has started with a very slow amount near the coast, some of that's going to get made up over the ensuing hours. I also want to talk about the temperatures. It's getting colder and colder. Temperatures now 25 in Boston. It's in the process of getting colder on Cape Cod. So it started out as very, very wet, pasty snow. And with that wind, that can lead to power outages. But the snow will be getting drier over time over there. But as the snow gets drier, uh, it also can fluff up and pile up. And that's why the amounts in that band were so high out here, because it was very, very cold. Now, the other thing I want to point out is how cold it's starting to feel. The wind chill's in the single digits now from Boston to Worcester, and it's dropping all the time. So you heard the mayor talk about that. Very cold and bitter cold accompanies and especially follows the snow tonight and early tomorrow. Let's